Okay, in this short demo, uh, we will present you how to add tendering consensus to Udico subnets. The following assumptions are used. One of one relationship between Udico nodes and tendering nodes. Users Udico and tendering nodes are co-located within sidecar architecture. And Udico nodes and Tendermint nodes use the same SIGP256 key, one private keys. Here you can see the high level architecture of the system. The basic design suggests that Tendermint is used in a black box model rather than in the traditional abstract blockchain interface proposed by Tendermint Core Framework and suggested for using to replicate uh, arbitrary applications. So we don't consider Utica as a replicated application in Tendermint sense. Instead, we will use Tendermint as a a message system providing BFT type of total order broadcast for all input file coin transactions without any modifications of the state using Tendermint. And we also use that the fact that Utica and Tendermint P2P networks are independent and used to disseminate uh, blocks within each network. So how it works? Each Utica node interacts with a trusted Tendermint uh, interface over HTTP protocol. Uh, Utica nodes sends input messages to the Tendermint node using broadcast method. Then Tendermint core uh, checks them and ensures that all messages are recorded on the every Tendermint node in the same order. Then Utica node access the corresponding block using Tendermint RPC and does the following uh, methods. Perform static and semantic validation all the messages from this block removes all corrupted messages generates a new file current block with the valid messages translates the minor address of the tendermint node to the corresponding address of the Utica node and add this address into minor field then insert the hash of the tender block into the ticket field and send the block over P2P network. After that, Utica applies the messages from that block. On this slide, you will you can see uh, the demo setup. So we have Tendermint testnet consisting of four uh, nodes, four Tendermint nodes, and all logs from uh, these nodes will be shown in the upper section. Then we also have two Udica nodes, node 0 and node 1, and all output from the node 1 will be shown in the middle section and from the node sorry from node 0 in the middle section and from node 1 in the uh, bottom section okay so now let's start the demo so i ran uh, tendermint testnet and two Utica nodes uh, we are using a proof of work 
consensus in root subnets. Now uh, we I'm going I'm going to uh, I'm going to sync the node one this node zero. And here we can see that now uh, two Unica nodes are synced in root subnet. Uh, now I'm going to run a mining process in root subnet in Unica on Unica one node. And we can see that it works. And now we are going to create a new subnet with Tendermint. Okay, subnet is T01002 and now let's join it. Hopefully it works. No errors so far. And the same we are going to apply on the Unix one node. And here we can run mining. So now we ran uh, two subnets, one subnet on two nodes with Tendermint consensus. And now let's check the world. For zero node, yeah, and same. Now let's try some funds on Unica Zero. And, and now we should see that the balance is eleven. And the same, uh, so on the second node. That's 15. Yeah. balance is 15 okay and there are no errors hopefully um, tendermint test net uh, still working and also we can can check uh,
wallet on the root subnet okay thank you for your attention